Hey guys, I wanted to go over the Power of Three document with you because this is day two of our Smart Start new coach training and this document right here is what is going to help boost your business forward and really what's gonna show you how to get the most amazing results as a business owner and move your business forward every single day. So I wanted to take you to what I use every single day. This is a copy, you're going to have access to this um, in our group and all you have to do is don't edit this document that you have access to all I want you to do is click file and then click make a copy and then you can edit that however you want now what I like to do is at the bottom you'll see there's lots of different tabs I literally go through and I will put the week the date um, and I'll put like this is what day is it we are on August 3rd. So I'll have August 3rd through the 9th, and then August 10th through the 16th, and then the 17th through the 23rd. I do that for about two or three months. Now, the reason that I do that is because whenever I'm talking to people, and if they say that right now isn't a great time for them, I will say, great, that's totally cool. When would be a good time for you? you and I to hook back up, uh, when would be a great time for me to follow up with you so that we can help you reach blank goals that they've already told me about. A lot of people will say, you know what, follow up with me in two months. That'd be a super great time for me. Right now is just not a good time. In two months, that'd be an awesome time. So I will just go through here and I will click the date two months from now. And let's say it's copy of week six. I'll click that date. I will put in Jane Doe. And then I will highlight it. And that highlighter lets me know that whenever I get to that week, you know, eight weeks from now, that I will go there and I will say, oh, it looks like I got to follow up with Jane Doe. And usually I'll put a little comment in there too, like she was interested in size and this is why it didn't work out this time. And this is why she wanted to do something in two months. And then when that day comes, all I have to do is once I follow up with her, I just reset it and she's already in my follow-up list. So that's kind of how I use the little bottom tabs. It really helps me make sure that I'm following up with the right people um, and not missing anybody who I want to follow up with in the future. So I will delete that since we're not editing this document. And I'll kind of show you guys exactly how I do this every single day. So every single day, you wanna focus on the power of three, three people in each section. And so the first section is a little bit tricky. It's add three friends to your network. And when you're a newer coach, it can be really difficult because you don't wanna be adding a million trillion people on Facebook because you can get blocked. However, as you're building relationships and forming with people and creating conversations, you're going to be able to add people as you get to know them. So usually Usually about three or four times of a conversation back and forth I will then send a friend request and what I will do is I will come up here again I like Jane Doe she's my favorite I will say Jane Doe sent request then I just kind of leave it and I pay attention throughout that week if she accepts my friend request I go in and I edit it. Well, of course, not letting me edit it. But I edit it and I just have, instead of Jane Doe sent request, I just take out the sent request part. And that's it. And it just says Jane Doe. We added each other as friends. And that's it. The thing that I like to do here, at the end of the week, if you have multiple people who still say sent request, go back through and delete those friend requests. If they haven't accepted you as a friend, just delete the friend request so that it's not out there in limbo because if you have a fair amount of friend requests out there, Facebook is gonna block you and they're gonna say that you're abusing the system and you don't wanna do that and you don't wanna have that. So this is a great way to track all of the people that you're sending those requests to because you do wanna be sending friend requests um, to people who you're talking with and having conversations with as you start to build those conversations and build your network. So the second little section here is to create conversations and form three people per day. Form stands for family, occupation, rep representation, <laughs> um, recreation, and your message. So these are people that you're getting to know, you're learning about. I like to just put their name and a brief little 
tidbit about them uh, that will help me when I'm following up with them in the future. So you want to make sure that you're forming with three people every single day. You want to invite three people to your next group, whether it's your accountability group or your free healthy eating group or our upcoming support group. You want to make sure that you're inviting three people to your next group every single day. You also want to make sure that you're following up with three people every day. This little part has been absolutely revolutionary in my business. And the reason is because every single week I have, I have this form filled out and I'll be able to go through and I'll say, Oh, who did I form with? And I, and when I'm forming with people, I'm starting to get an idea of which program would be beneficial to them. What needs do they have that I can fill? And so I go through and I just say, you know what? I know that Jamie and I were talking about how she really wanted to start a workout program, but she didn't like fitness, but she really liked to dance. And so, you know what? Today I'm going to follow up with her and I'm going to say, hey, Jamie, you know what? Have you, can, have you thought about that dance program size that we've been talking about a little bit in the past? I think that it would really be a program that you would enjoy. Have you thought about that at all recently? Something like that. Just follow up with people. If you've already invited to them, invited them to a challenge or to a support group, be sure that you're following up with them and have a little note on the side. I talked with this person about Shakeology. I talked with this person about the um, free healthy eating group. I talked with this person about the eating plan on the 21 day fix. Have little notes in there so that you know when you go back forward through and you want to look through and see what to say to these people, you have an idea of what you were already talking about. Then the next part is inviting two people per week to the coaching opportunity. Now, personally, there's a couple extra things. I like inviting one person every single day to the coaching opportunity, sometimes two or three, um, just to really make sure that I'm expanding my network and building our team. And that's the way I like to do it. But at least two people per week to the coaching opportunity. And then I also, I haven't edited, edited this, but I will. New messages started. This is the next section that I think is really important. And it's a section that I added myself. And let's see. Oh, it's because I'm not on week one. I guess I have. I did. There we go. New people messaged. You want to be messaging at least three new people a day, whether it's people that are on your list that of your list of 100 that you've talked to, or if it's people that you're meeting on Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram, you want to be messaging at least three new people a day so that you're continuing to expand your network. So that's why I have that section there. The next section below is the business basics. And this is what I took from the business activity tracker. So if you ever hear about the BAT, it's the business activity tracker. And that is a tracker that I used for, I want to say two solid years straight. And it totally helped me expand my business. And the only thing that I didn't really like about it is this whole top part was missing. So I didn't have the names and I didn't have the good follow-up process and I didn't like that part, but this little section right here, I loved, loved, loved from Business Activity Tracker. Tracking your business hours, making sure that you're getting lots of um, solid set business hours, not just hours all throughout the day, just having set business hours. That was really important for me in my business. I know it's helped a lot of my coaches um, with their businesses, and I would highly suggest having that as well. Tracking your hours throughout the week. Personally, I know that there's a set number of hours that if I'm not hitting that amount of hours in my business and spending that time on myself and on my business, then my business is not going to grow because I've learned that through this process. I've been able to see um, you know, the trends in my business with how many business hours I spend. The next section is workouts, tracking your workouts, simply put an X on the days that you work out. Um, and then at the end of the week, you can go through and say, you know what? I had X amount of hours. I did X amount of workouts. Commissions, I actually usually have this section like that because on Thursdays, I put in, I don't track my commission every single day because I feel like that's way too hard. So on Thursdays, I just go through and I put in my commissions made and then I have a percentage that I've already allocated um, and everybody's different as to what they want to spend on their business expenses. So I have a percentage allotted from my commissions made that I have for business expenses. Then every single day I track money that I've spent on my business, whether I'm spending a dollar to get it uh, messages into people's new, into people's 
um, folders on Facebook, if I'm spending the dollar for that, or if I'm doing advertising on Pinterest, whatever I'm doing, I'm tracking how much I'm spending, whether it's, um, you know, there's lots of things that you can spend uh, money on for your business. So that's what I like to do there. And then the next section is when you are tracking your three vital behaviors. Are you doing your workouts, posting a selfie, drinking your Shakeology? Are you listening to your personal development and doing at least 10 minutes a day? Posting in there and just making sure that you've got an X next to those. The next part is expose and grow. And this is a part that you will definitely want to edit yourself. This um, is one that I like to, I actually have, this is based on my little chart that I do every single week. I have a chart here that I do every single week. So I have all of the groups that I'm running. And so whenever you have this form for yourself, I would suggest putting in all the groups that you need to check into. And then just every day coming through, marking an X. I checked in the team page. I checked in the accountability group. I checked into the smart start. Um, you know, and just putting an X next to those and making sure that you're checking into those groups and then making sure that you're responding to your messages, posting on your social media sites. And then the last part is just making sure that you're checking into your online office, engaging with the team page and getting on our training calls. And that's pretty much it. So this form, though it may seem like a lot in the beginning, just because it's brand new, it is a super simple way to make sure that you're continuing to expand your network and to invite and follow up with people. It's just the three vital behaviors broken down into the power of three. Three people every single day in those categories who are going to blow up your business. I'm talking like blow it up like crazy. So make a copy of this form. If you want to print it out, you totally can. I like having it on Google Docs just because it makes it easier for me to pick it up on my phone or on my tablet or if I'm at it over the computer. It just makes it easy for me. So I like Google Docs. If you want to make it into an Excel sheet or like I said, if you want to print it out, you can totally do that too. If you have any questions about the power of three, be sure to post it in our group. We want to hear them. If you have them, I'm sure somebody else does too. So I hope that this helped. Make sure that you make a copy for yourself and we'll talk soon. Bye.